people bear the image of God, and we must give ourselves to Him. And once we do that, now you're going to see, guys. Now it's like the phrase, now we're cooking with grease. Now you're, now you're able to see relationships in a different way because now God is able to be what people cannot be for you. And guys, that's something that you're going to need to probably repent of today or over the next couple of weeks. And you're going to find yourself, when you ask anyone else to co- complete your life, you have just worshipped an idol. That is an idol, a false god that is not enough for you. And cannot do for you. Guys, listen, when, when God made Eve, there was a negative connotation. He said, it is not good. I read in verse 31, it says, at, at the end of day six, and it was very good indeed. Very, very good. In chapter two, God says, oh, it was not good. We had it. There was a not good before it became very good. What was the not good? It's not good for man to be alone. But guys, it's not just, and yes, people are important. But in the end, Jesus said, you can be surrounded by everyone. But if you have Christ, you are still alone. It is not good for you to be alone. And so what did Jesus do? Jesus came to be Emmanuel with us and then promised to always be there with us. I was talking to Alicia about this even the other day. Guys, the, when it comes to God's presence, what is God's presence? If you feel like God's presence is a feeling, or if God is, then, then you're missing God's presence. God's presence is wrapped in his promise. He says, I'll be there with you. Regardless if you feel it or not, I'm there. His presence is found in his promise. And so it is not good for us to be without him. And what did Jesus do so he could be with us? Think about it. He came here and took nails where? On his hands. Because it was the hands of Adam and Eve. They held the fruit in their own hands and ate. And he took nails in the hands that held that fruit. He took nails, where else? In his feet. For every step that Adam and Eve took towards that tree instead of away. He took punishment on those things. He also, if you think, he wore a crown of what? Thorns. He wore a crown of thorns. And what was the curse on Adam? Adam, you will have to work from the sweat of your brow and the ground will produce thorns. Jesus took Adam's punishment on his head, on the crown. And then Eve. How did Christ atone for Eve's sin? What was the last wound Jesus received? A spear to what? His ribcage. Jesus took a spear to the rib cage. Where did Eve come from? His side. Look at, and God did all of this so that he can breathe life back into us because it is the only way that you can find life is in the creator. Where does life come from? We see it in Genesis 1 from the beginning. Him. Only God can complete your life. And so if you feel frustrated, lost, alone. You're not alone on that. Guys, it, that's a normal thing. You can be a believer and still feel sometimes lost. In fact, Isaiah said, blessed is the person who walks still in darkness, but not in darkness of sin, meaning he cannot see where God is, but yet his confidence is in Christ, no, in God, no matter what. Guys, that, how can you do that? Unless you know, unless you've been brought back to the giver of life. Once he completes your life and begins to, and that's a process, now you are made and you can begin to learn to compliment other people. In fact, Philippians 1, 6 ends, Paul says, he who began a good work in you will finish it to the very end. And notice, God is still, he's still beginning. He began again. Genesis 1, when he began. And Paul, all these years later says, oh, what he began in you. He's going to finish it all the way through as long as you look and trust in him. And so guys, I really pray and ask if you find yourself in that position of something is not right, well, you got to start here. What if it's you? Maybe you're angry at your parents and you're angry at them and you're angry at the world and you're angry at, okay, good. But you got to recognize that if you, the problem is, is, is here as well. And until Christ can meet you there, that's when you're going to go from existing to now learning how to live for the first time. But you got to 
trust in the one who lives still today, which is Jesus. And he'll help you do that.